going on guys it's your boy run 300 i'm back again with another video yes your boy is back welcome to he smells like rome i'm your host ramon aka rome 300 i don't think i've ever told anybody my real name on here but yes my name is ramon um for those who just joined me um i talk about these fragrances guys primarily niche luxury hard to find fragrances and i try my best to drop exclusives sometimes i get them out there before anybody else sometimes they don't but if you're looking for content that definitely gonna make you guys smell unique different from any of the, your friends you hang out with stick with me on my channel then i'm gonna have you guys smelling great you can be down with the smell good guys yes that's what i'm calling my crew the people that watch my channel the smell good guys i can't take credit of that um back in the day you know i live in jersey new jersey hung out in new york a lot so all the ogs to call cologne uh cologne smell good so i'm gonna call it the smell good guys all right so with that said we are talking about a beautiful fragrance that i discovered and uh the house is called ramen pot um it's based in london england and how i came across this it's this is it was crazy all right, so I'm on Instagram and I'm looking for fragrance. Some said go to Fragrantica see what's new. They always popping up with something new. Fragrantica had an article up. Now, being a lazy person, I am. I didn't read the article. I did. I saw this beautiful bottle. When I looked at the beautiful bottle, I said, oh my God. I, I got to check this out. It had everything I like. Frosted glass. The color was popping. When I looked at the, those guys, oh my God. Saffron, nutmeg. Toffee, caramel, oud. I said, did they know me? Did they make this fragrance especially for me? I, that's that's what my mind says, because it had everything I love. If you know me, if you watch my channel, you know I love gourmand fragrances. I love oud fragrances. I love those thick, heavy, dense fragrances. And I love fragrances that catch me off guard. And this fragrance did that. So. Let me go back a little bit. So I go and um, I contact them on Instagram and say, hey, I want to get some samples in France. I want to try to try to figure things out. Unfortunately, they don't ship to America. I'm like, oh, no. Oh. Pandemic is probably why. I don't know. I didn't ask. I just was like, no, well, we got to find a way. It was like, well, if you have a friend in England or somewhere over here, we can ship it to them and then maybe they can ship it to you. I said, absolutely. I have some friends over there. So my friend, Colette Michelle, thank you, Colette. That's my sister. She was like, yeah, I'll ship it to you. So they sent it to her and she shipped it to me, but it got bad. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this is how bad it got. She shipped the fragrance to me, right? But it didn't get to me for almost a month and a half because Grandma and Pot shipped it to them and it was a day before they locked down London. So it took her three weeks to be able to mail it out. And then it took another two weeks for it to get here. So. I, Y'all don't understand the stress because you know, man, customs, they are ruthless. I thought they was going to grab this and someone's going to have this in their pocket. But luckily it got to me. So I'm anticipating the fragrance. I didn't open it up until Christmas because uh, it was an actual Christmas gift. So I opened it up and normally pictures don't do the fragrance justice. But this, it looked exactly like their fragrances did. Uh, on the pictures. So whoever's taking the photos there, you guys did a great job. So I got the 50 mil bottle and they were gracious enough and kind enough to also send me a 10 mil or 20 mil bottle of one of their other fragrances. This one is called Noble Bacana. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a beautiful summer fragrance. I'll be talking about this later on this year, but that was nice enough. Um, so I get the fragrance. I spray it on my hand. I just, I'm sitting back like, oh my goodness. Now, with the notes, I'm thinking that this is going to be a just heavy, dense, strong, just beast mode fragrance. It is completely the opposite. Completely. I got a fantastic, beautiful dose of a fruity, caramel, taffy-like note when I first sprayed it. I was like, oh my God, this is gourmand. This is a gourmand fragrance. Now, 
that taffy caramel kind of vibe came out. Very nice. It just reminded me of a, a gourmand dessert. The fruitiness was nice, sweet, and fresh. I had that maybe about a good half hour to an hour. Those were the two notes that I constantly got. Maybe around an hour into the fragrance, this is when this nice floral saffron note, slightly spicy came in there, and it just developed. It, it now starting to come alive. So the spiciness with this gourmand, mouth-watering, taffy, fruity note. Now I know that if you look at the note breakdown, you're not supposed to get most of what I'm talking about until the heart and base of the fragrance. But when I spray this, that's what I got. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys the sprayer right now just so you can get an opportunity to see what the sprayer looks like and then I can get reintroduced to the open. You see that? That's a big mist. Oh. This is so fantastic. Creamy kind of nice candy like taffy, nice bright fruity note in the beginning. Amazing, amazing guys. Um, amazing. Mm. And like I said, the saffron note, it's, it's nice, it's spicy, it's full, but it's, it's complements the sweetness of that taffy and also the sweetness of the citrus note in the beginning. Um, now, let me tell you, this fragrance is a new fragrance, guys. Um, the fragrance came out in the later part of 2020. I was looking for uh, the nose and I contacted uh, Grandma Potts uh, and this is, they have to, in-house perfumers. No, they don't hire perfumers. It's all developed and made in-house, which is amazing. It's a collaborative effort. It's not one specific person making the fragrance. It's a group of people coming up with ideas and kind of pitching it to each other. And they all have a part in developing pretty much all the fragrances that they have in their um, catalog, which is unique. That's different. Um, and also very intriguing. I, I still want to know, I want to know the group. Because to come up with this, man, there had to be about five, six brains kind of thought, <laughs> you know, a little magic in that pot. But um, let's get down to the heart of the fragrance. So we get into the heart of the fragrance, right, guys? And now, that taffy kind of gourmand kind of note still is there. The citrus note is a little died down. The saffron, now... It's introduced more into a incense woody kind of vibe to me. Now, this is when the oud comes out. Now, this isn't that, you know, fecal, resinous oud. It's more woody, like agar wood versus the, you know, the, you, when you're extracting the resin or that, that kind of film from the agar wood. It's not that, it's more like the wood, agar wood itself. That is really nice. Um, the incense smokiness is kind of there, but it's not very heavy. And that's one thing I like about this fragrance. With all the notes I'm talking about, you would think that this is a heavy, dense, thick fragrance. It is not, it is very soft, very sensual in the opening to the middle of the fragrance. We're about maybe two hours into this fragrance and it's not super beast mode. All right, you know, let me stop there. I'm gonna give you guys the note breakdown so you can see exactly what the notes are. So here we go with the note breakdown. All right, so you guys saw the notes, right? So when you see that, you're like, this is gonna be beast mode. I absolutely thought that too. Especially from the notes. I say this is gonna be beast mode. This is gonna just be a big ass bubble of just gourmand heaven. Now, it is absolutely a delicious fragrance. A sexy, sensual fragrance. But it's softer. 
Now it's not powdery soft where you gotta smell yourself. No, it's just very intimate where it's not one of those beast mode, loud, in your face, obnoxious fragrance. This is very elegant, very refined, and it's classy. So are you gonna get noted? Absolutely. Is it going to uh, project heavily? No. Is it gonna project? Absolutely. I know that's kind of confusing, but I would say if you're in a intimate to semi-intimate gathering with people, everybody that is around you will be able to smell you. If they're 10 feet away, no. But if you walk past someone, you will leave a nice sillage of taffy, saffron, nutmeg, and nice citrus vibe. This is literally like a gourmet buffet in the first two to three hours. So as the fragrance is developing, right, I'm walking around the house, it's probably around maybe four or five hours. I have not resprayed anything, right? And I'm getting woody, I'm getting taffy, I'm getting incense. The saffron's not so much. Now we're heading towards the base of the fragrance and I was wondering, I'm like, I, nutmeg, right? It was in the note breakdown. And this nutmeg is so faint, but it's there. And it was weird because I didn't recognize it in the beginning until I started getting to the base of the fragrance, but it's been there the entire time. It's just so, so small, or more like a whisper of nutmeg, but it's like that little brother that you want to ignore, but you can't because he's always around. But this is the, the, the pleasant one. This is the hard-headed little brother. This is the little brother that you don't mind being around, but go do your own thing. Oh man, this is, that nutmeg is definitely one of the key ingredients that make this, not with the sexiness, the taffy, the saffron makes it sexy. The nutmeg makes it more elegant. Um, gosh, oh man, I'm trying to think of anything else I can talk about this fragrance. Um, times to wear it. Okay, so when you wanna wear this fragrance, I absolutely think this fragrance should be a first date fragrance. If you are trying to go out on a date with your significant other or someone you just met and you want to impress them or you want their undivided attention, you need to wear this. Absolutely need to wear this. Um, the times, night, yes. Daytime, yes. But I would say the earlier part of the spring when it's still a little cold outside, and the later part of the fall and any time of the winter, this is going to work wonders. Um, and it's, the only thing that I would say that I would not wear this in the summertime. I, I just don't think that it would work well. I could be wrong, it's not summer yet. I'll get back to you and let you know if this will work in the summer. From my experience, the saffron, the uh, kind of caramel vibe, the taffy note, is a little bit heavier than I would like for summer fragrance. I'm a little crazy though. I wear anything at any time of the year, depending on my mood. But for those who try to wear fragrances uh, that cater towards that season, early spring, fall and winter, this will be excellent. The, the fragrance surprised me so much, guys, that I've only given out in the eight years that I've been doing fragrance reviews, I've only given out two 10 out of 10. This will be the first 10 out of 10 I've done for 2021. This is gonna be hard to beat. This is going to be hard to beat. Man, when I tell you, such a pleasant surprise in every aspect. A pleasant surprise in the presentation itself. A pleasant surprise on how gorgeous this fragrance has developed. And a pleasant surprise of how nice the company is 
and how like open up just having communication. Well, you'd be surprised. I've talked to them on several occasions and I didn't have to wait two days or three days for you know them to get back to me. It was probably no less than three minutes. So I truly appreciate that when it comes to customer service or just being willing to talk to potential customers. Um, I'm definitely gonna get me another bottle of this uh, when I run out of it. This is one of the fragrances that I will have as a staple in my collection. All right, guys, I have a little technical difficulty. I'm not even sure where I was at. Um, I just wanna recap real quick. The company itself, they, they are fantastic. Fragrance is fantastic. There is one caveat. It is expensive. I cannot lie to you. Y'all know, you know, y'all trust my reviews. And when I tell you it's a great fragrance, it's a great fragrance. But it is expensive. For 50 ml of this fragrance, it's somewhere around, I think, $375. For 100 ml, somewhere around maybe $450. i will put the numbers up there so you can see. It is in pounds, not in dollars, so I can't, you know, convert that. Uh, but I'll let you guys know. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Um, would I tell you to blind buy this? Absolutely, if you are a gourmand lover. If you love gourmand fragrances, if you love uh, oud fragrances, absolutely. If you're not a gourmand, you, um, you have to tell you that. But I'm telling you, guys, and I know I say this, I know there are other reviews that say this, but trust me, look at my face, people. Nothing like this. In the time that I've been doing reviews, there's nothing like this. And I'm so glad that I got a bottle. I'm not gonna talk anymore about how fantastic this is. I'm not gonna beat you on the head, just trust me, if you do, you go get it. Only thing I can say right now is if you live in the U.S., it is not available yet. They are working on that. Give them time. They will get the fragrance here. If you live in London, if you live in Europe, you can get it because they ship over there. It's just you can't get it here yet. If you can't do what I did, ask them to ship it to somebody else, pay for it, ask them to ship it to someone in London, and hopefully one of your friends will be able to ship it to you in the U.S. Get your hands on it if you can. If you're patient and wait, do that also but that's it guys that's pretty much the review um i truly hope that you guys enjoyed the fragrance review um y'all know y'all my people i couldn't do this without y'all and i wouldn't do this if y'all wouldn't tell me thank you rome thank you rome for uh, putting me on this fragrance i would never have known it if it wasn't for you I mean, that is a humbling experience and I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys that messaged me saying that I hope you get um, one or a few really good fragrances. So that's what I'm doing this for. Um, like I said, you guys, uh, share this with your friends. That's gonna help and give me a thumbs up, like the video, and if you haven't subscribed, do so. Um, I'm trying to get to that 10,000 subscriber mark and I need y'all help to do that. That's the only way I'm gonna do it if y'all helping a brother out, all right? I think that's it. Until next time, guys, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace.